Have you ever wanted to drive a tank through World War II and Cold War era battlefields, duking it out against other players? Have you ever wanted to dogfight in a plane through the skies of Europe? No? Then you're probably sane. Pretty normal. For the rest of us, we play sometimes unhealthy amounts of video games. And the video game that I'm reviewing is War Thunder. A little about the game. War Thunder is a military ground vehicle and aircraft combat game from Russian video game developer Gaijin Entertainment. War Thunder is available on PlayStation 4, PC, Mac, Linux, and Shield Android TV. War Thunder is also notably cross-platform, meaning that a player on a console can play with a player on a PC. Many other games intentionally do not have this feature. Some notes about the game. War Thunder is more realistic than other combat vehicle games, such as World of Tanks, which put me off due to its arcade style. However, War Thunder is not so realistic as to make gameplay less entertaining. The game is also free to play, however many vehicles cannot be unlocked without paying money. There are over a thousand playable vehicles from countries such as America, Germany, the Soviet Union, France, England, as well as others, with more countries along the way. Ground and air forces interact cooperatively with and against each other, with ground attack craft and self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles. This is another feature that World of Tanks, the most direct competitor of War Thunder, does not have. Some discussion. The graphics in War Thunder are not exceptional though they are noticeably better than World of Tanks. User skins can be added to change the appearance of vehicles beyond included in-game looks, sometimes to an intentionally comedic effect. The sound quality is unexceptional, though the user-created sound mods are available to increase sound quality. War Thunder has no obvious intentional story. However, missions replicating World War II and Cold War conflicts can be played. The replay value of War Thunder is one of the most exceptional parts of the game, as it takes many hours to unlock all of the unlockable vehicles, as well as the four different game vehicle types, including boats, helicopters, planes, and tanks. Some pros of the game, as mentioned previously, are that it has decent graphics, great replayability, over a thousand playable vehicles, and it's cross-platform, so you can play with your friends even if you're on different devices. Some cons are that War Thunder does not have an exceptional sound engine, the sound engine isn't great, and that it has no creative narrative. Onto the artistic value, uh, War Thunder does not have as much artistic value as other games, uh, notably other video games with written narratives, uh, similar to those in a film or in a book. However, War Thunder is not totally void of artistic value, uh, as seen with the creative, visual elements, uh, the gameplay, etc. Uh, War Thunder is one of the best video games that I have played. Uh, I have dumped almost 2,000 hours into the game. By the time you guys are watching this, I'll probably already have 2,000 hours in the game. Uh, and I would highly recommend playing this game if this genre is something you're interested in. Uh, thank you for watching. My YouTube channel can be found at Spearton, capital S, with a dash at the end. Thanks for watching.